I mean, Pokemon Trainer, you can't sleep with them anymore because they nerfed Ivysaur a little bit. People overreacted on that so hard. They're like, wow, Ivysaur's trash. But, and then Charizard, but Charizard received a lot of buffs as well. And we're seeing another one from UCLA. Yeah, Jugia coming in with the Squirtle here, gonna fight against the Palutena. Mm -hmm. And Jump Steady, really well versed in the Palutena matchup, uh, in the Pokemon, Pokemon Trainer, Trainer matchup. matchup. Yeah. There's a lot of Pokemon Trainers out here. Mm -hmm. Sweet Tea, one is one of those Pokemon Trainer players. We got uh, Rafi, I believe. I know, but great job using that side special to catch it out. And remember, Squirtle is Rose light, Spunky. so. I think Jugu no, I'm thinking of Spanky. I'm thinking of Spanky. Spanky? Yes. Spanky is a really good Pokemon trainer for the IE. Mm -hmm. And I love how he's using these conversions, using that back uh, that back throw, but Ivysaur is back out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that does reach under the ledge, so he's got to be careful, but Charizard back out. There's so many things you can do with Charizard now after those buffs. He's got so many Nair. Well, confirms. to be fair, there's quite a bit of things that he could do before the buffs, too. Yeah, it's but just he's a more, much more he's a much scarier character now. Oh my god! Oh goodness! Just goes be, uh, below the explosive flame. But great back air from Jump Steady. He's able to take that stock. So, Jugi, 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 gonna be in a little bit of trouble. I know Squirtle's got a really nice neutral game, but 88 percent. I'm not sure what he can really take off from the table. I, I, I would really like to see like an Ivysaur of some sort try to wall him out before he gets a stock uh, easier. I'm actually not sure uh, what what Jugia's general play style is, like uh, what, what he wants to do. Does he want to control the stage? He wants to control the stage as Ivysaur if he wants to rush down, that's that Squirtle. But he's not really rushing down yep. with, with Squirtle, so we're going to get the switch into Ivysaur here. And easy confirmed and down through into back. Oh, there. very nice. Uh -huh. Switch onto the auto reticle. Yeah, he's able to get out, but that down tilt going to be snuffed out using that get-up attack. It's actually not too bad of an option, but that down throw into backer confirmed. Not going to kill just yet, but that auto record coming in. He baited out the flare blitz. He knew exactly when it was coming in, including nice the bear. parry on that back air, but the up smash to catch it out. No back air is going to save him from that up smash there. No wings going to save Palutena mm -hmm. on Charizard's landing there. Going to run away from the Explosive Flame. Very smart from Jugia. Going to go with a four there after the back. Oh, that smash. Back. Ooh. I, I low-key wanted to see him just flare blitz yeah. the heck out of him on that back. Yeah, but 41%. It is Palutena off. She is a light character. What's the option? Back air. He's at the magic percent. What he could do, but the back throw. Sh no, the down throw. Not going to be able to get anything, but great job by Jugia. Able to get that ferret. Got to watch out for this flame, man. Ah, oh, is that it? That's enough, so. As I was saying, got to watch out for that flame. Explosive flame comes out and takes out Charizard. Mm -hmm. Great tech from there. Able to tech the platform, but instantly jumps that he's able to punish. And with the parry on the down air as well, here come the up air strings. So he's able to finally get out. I'm not sure what that vine loop was for. He probably missed a, a jump opportunity as soon as he landed. Uh, it's, it's sometimes the options you pick don't work out. And look he at was that like confidence. Here, but yeah. still. Look at that confidence from Jump Study just running at him. And the up air finally catches it. Charizard back up on the table. But does he want to stick to it? Down throw into the tech. He's knowing exactly that he's going to tech in place, catching it out with those up airs. Yeah, and not a lot of people like to tech roll, especially on platforms. Mm -hmm. And it, there's not really much you can do against Palutena. Her aerials just cover all look, of the platform itself. Look at that confidence from Jump Steady running all the way up to him without throwing out a move, knowing exactly what Jugi is trying to do. But Squirtle neutral, he just needs to get one more thing. But that back throw forcing him off off stage. Goes for the waterfall, does get. Oh, quite. He gets ledge trumped. Very nice awareness from Jump Steady, getting the instant ledge trump right there. He went it for it the first time, but was unable to get it. But the second time is all what it matters. Closing out the stock. Incredible stuff from Jump Steady. Oh, man. I mean, it was a pretty. It was like a close ish match, but it was just that last stock felt a little. Over, it, it felt like that Jump Steady was able to overwhelm. The Pokemon trainer was able to use all of his tools using that Nair, and this, especially the conversions were definitely on point. Yeah, and like uh, it was, in a sense, close-ish, but um, Jump Steady was doing better at controlling the pace. Mm -hmm. And especially catching out every single tech option, was able to catch up the neutral with the, uh, the up air, knowing exactly what he was going to do, but back onto it, down throw into fair, with a little tippy top. All right, very... Alright, percents were, were even, and Jugia getting the jab block right there, not able to follow up with Squirtle. This is kind of rare to see from someone who's 
He's going in straight in with Squirtle here, actually. And also, he was constantly going for those jab lock setups, as we saw in the game number one. So looking for these options now that backer is going to catch it. He's forcing that. He's running around a lot. He's using the footsies games as Squirtle because of the speed, but jump steady. Jump steady's just better at controlling the match, like you said. Jump steady retreats back to neutral here. Gets tries to go for the back air, but very nice deal away from Jigia. Down tilt, very nice ledge coverage option, uh -huh. especially when you're trying to two frame somebody. Yeah, it's able to get out of that F tilt from Ivy. So we're actually catching out. Great job by Jump what? Steady. A recovery. Mm -hmm. That was really smart by him, knowing exactly what Ivy Server is going to go for. And that grab is going to miss. That's huge. Jump Steady is able to get out of that bad situation. The bath throw won't be able to kill just yet. But what's the option? Auto Radical catching it out. The up smash, not just yet. The timing was a little bit off. But that throw, the conversion is able to get he it this time. You cannot DI in. It will confirm into the back air, and you just sealed your fate. Yep. I mean, you, you have to DI out. You have to DI out. Uh -huh. I understand that there's a fourth throw, but that fourth throw is not going to kill you. Uh -huh. I swear on God. Especially with Charizard. Like, it's, it's not going to kill you. You're a heavy character. And right now, this is the part that Jump State does best, is able to go for these running away with the stocks. And like I said earlier, remember... Jugi is constantly going for these opportunities where Jump Steady isn't going to tech. And Jump Steady has not missed it except once, but Jugi didn't get any conversions off of it. Yeah, and tries to go for, this, for the water gun there, not able to get a conversion off of it. Oh, again, the DIN almost being detrimental to his health there. He's going to be fine, barely getting out of it. These auto reticles are forcing the shield out from Jugia. Charizard's back out to try to get a kill, and he air actually goes for the spot dodge, and unable to get anything yeah, that Nair lasts for so long at the up air as well. Oh, goodness. It's just looking worse and worse for Jugia right now. He's got to find a medication for his sickness right now because he is going to the ER at this rate. I swear. Yep. Oh, up throw? Going to yep. take it? No. no. Great Town and City has quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit of a ceiling. But also, just some great DI coming in from Jump Steady, but finally gets the stock. But Jugia, ah, it's, not, it's not looking too good. Yeah, ooh, as soon as yeah. he tries to go for the get-up attack, gets a very nice space, nicely spaced down smash. Getting him with tip the wing right there. Now, unless Jugia can really pull off a miracle right now and get an extremely, really sick combo, it's okay. not looking too good. Yeah, it, it's not looking too good for Jugia. Uh, Jump Steady, again, controlling the ledge amazingly well. And he's trying to go for these nares and whatnot, but look at the Jump Steady. Look how much control he has over the match. Jugia is like, he's getting... Oh, those, not uh, going to be able to get the, the sweet, sweet spot. spot. Oh, God, is he, he dead? He is dead! He deep. His, his air dodge killed him. This is the second time we've seen air dodge kill someone. It's a little different in this game, but... Nothing, taking nothing away I from I think he Steady. wanted to wave land, but wasn't able to get the wave land and missed the ledge. I, I know, but taking nothing away from Jump Steady, though. He had control of the, of the entire match. Yeah, Jump Steady's, Jump Steady's presence was 